Now we go to the final one, thugs. And as we recap it, we see shoot 'em up against Bud Smokers only. Yep. They're Number w- one versus sixteen. This pick made sense. You know, shoot 'em up, I feel like shoot 'em up and everyday thing, I feel like because of the rarity of them, they get they get held in higher esteem. But I see it. Shoot 'em up as far as popularity goes, definitely is more popular even, than Bud Smokers. Shoot 'em up ended up on a collection. Yeah, well, I mean Bud Smokers only was on Eternal. Why would that be on the collection? No. But I see what you're saying. Yeah, yeah, shoot 'em up, yeah, yeah. Like everyday thing, like didn't end up on shit. Yeah. Yeah. Now shoot 'em up's cool. It's cool. If they do a collection so it makes three, it... man, everyday thing better be like the first fucking song on it. Yeah. I know, man. It's because it's it's at this point it's gonna be hard to get the show soundtrack. Is that on? Is that on iTunes? Like, can people stream Everyday Thing? I mean, I, mean, I guess think, so. I think it's on like YouTube. A, a lot of Bone songs aren't are not on Google Play. Yeah, and that's what I have for my streaming, and it it drives me nuts. Like, yes, uh, when we were preparing for the uh, Soldier Boy interview, I wanted to listen to Low Down, Low Down, Dirty Shame, and uh, it wasn't on Google Play. Uh, the the second Mo Thug album, I wanted to hear Mighty Mighty Warrior and Mighty Mo Thug. I couldn't hear those. But anyway, all right. So that was that was uh, Shoot 'em Up, of course, advanced on. For the Love of Money versus If I Could Teach the World. Yeah. That's a good matchup because those were both singles. They were both the second single from each respective album. That's a really cool seating. I, I think for the love of money won, and it did. Yeah, that's what I would have picked. I guess that's what I'll... I. See, I, you're an art of war guy, you know, and that, that's yeah. But that's, you know, the, the, being the, an art of war guy, uh, I, I was never, I, I was never really hot on if I could teach the world like that. In fact, yeah, people compared like if I could teach the world and like change the world, and I always thought change the world was like a hundred times the song that if I could teach the world yeah. was. Me too. Um. So Me too. I, so I was never huge on it, and I and I and I actually, I mean, I do love creeping on a come up, and I and I really love for the love of money. Like I like for the love of money way more than thuggish ruggish bone. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It, it. I think the verses kind of blend better. You know, it's it's not verse chorus verse chorus kind of thing. You know, like thuggish ruggish bone kind of suffers from the same thing rebirth suffers from. Is that it's just too much chorus? Yeah. Well, and and and, and both courses weren't bone. Like for the love of money, gotta get that money, man. It's bone doing it. So, yeah, it, it, I think it's a no brainer that well, it's not so much a no brainer, but it's 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 believable that for, for the love of money beats out if I could teach the world. Plus, Easy E is on for the love of money. Yeah, right. So, this next one's hilarious. If if Busy Bone was in the music video for If I Could Teach the World, do you think that your mind would change a little bit differently? Because then that would have been a super duper epic music video. It would have been a super epic music video. Would have been super epic. Yeah. But like, it doesn't change my feelings on the song. I love the video. I think the video is great. It's like one of the best Bone videos of all time. And and I don't hate the song. It just, um, you know, I, I was never like... <laughs> piping hot on the fucking thing the way other bone fans are yeah and for me like you know as i'm always pushing the harmony like if i could teach the world goes past like my level like it's too kitty like it it feels like a children's song a little bit to me yeah so like like i I just couldn't feel cool like as a i guess i was 19 at the time i just like ah you know I didn't want to hear uh, that. I'd play it to my five-year-old. Like, I'm like, hey, five-year-old kids, here, listen to If I Could Teach the World. I didn't want to hear that but, singing shit. Yeah. Not that kind. Not that kind. All right, so then we had No Surrender versus Can't Give It Up. <laughs> no <laughs> Surrender might take the whole cake, right? I mean... Yeah, I mean, listen. If if you're a fan of the show, you know how much I love Can't Give It Up. I, I love this fucking song so much, but I mean, there's... There's no way that that song 
would ever be no surrender. Yeah. Yeah. No surprise there. No surrender. I've, pr- I've probably... Um, I listen to Can't Give It Up a lot. <laughs> I, I remember... I, did I ever tell you the story when... Uh, you know, uh, Sterling, Sterling had he had a bone he had a clutch like a clutch for his shifter and it was a skull like a bone skull for his <laughs> shifter on his in his truck <laughs> and we were listening to No Surrender one time and the police were driving by <laughs> and he rolled down the window <laughs> and he goes motherfucker y'all coppers <laughs> and I'm like yo what do you want to we want to get pulled over he just he was feeling the song so much but, yeah. <laughs> Anytime I think of No Surrender, I think of that moment. I'm like, man, that we could have got roped that day, but so No Surrender. Yeah, Big. That, that was that was like Bones' uh, "F the Police" song before they did the remake of it. So yeah, no surprise there. No Surrender. The next one we have Down Seventy One versus Power of a Smile. Yeah, all right, we know what won this. I was surprised. I didn't realize how big of a track Power of a Smile was to people. I couldn't even name what album that's on. Name shit. Is it on an album or is it like one on one of their like uh, quasi albums? What power of a smile? I remember it coming out, but it, it's kind of like music. Music makes me high, or uh, they made some song like "I Love Music" or something that never really was on the album. But I, I don't even remember where "Power of a Smile" is from. I, like I feel I like I think it, I mean I don't know if it made it on the album. I think it, if it did, it must have made it on one of those. Like weird. Oh, I think it's on the Tupac. Isn't it on that Tupac that uh, the rose that grew from concrete or something like that, or one of those Tupac albums? I don't know. I don't know. I I mean, yeah. I guess. Oh yeah, because it's like a Tupac poem that they did or whatever, right? Sounds like it. Hmm. it you know it, that that title there it just screams like Tupac poetry. Yeah. I don't know. We'll have to look no, that I think, up. I think that Sorry, makes Bone sense. fans, I, we don't know apps. I, I think that makes sense. I, I, I remember that's got to be it. That has got to be it. Yeah. And, and and even then, no fucking way. Yeah, down 71. They need to make a, well, it's too late now, but it'd be really cool to see a down 71 movie or short film or at least a music video. You know, I've seen, you know, Nice and Smooth I don't know if you guys know about Nice and Smooth. They were a, a, a rap group from the early 90s. They later on, like 15 years later, like a couple years ago, they made a music video for a song that they made back in the early 90s. <laughs> Can you believe that? I believe it. I, I, Tech Nine went back and he did the stamina intro. Look at how many years later he did the video for it. But I mean, but like Tech Nine's an active artist. Like Nice and Smooth, they yeah. were like retired right. for a long time. Yeah. Down 71 made it. Power of a Smile didn't. The next one was Buddha Lovers versus Don't Waste My Time. What's, what's that even from? Don't Waste My Time. Don't, don't Waste My Time. What? <laughs> what is that from? Isn't that the fucking... I, I can't even... I thought that was like... Is that the... Uh, it's it's like the Thugs album, right? Like the... Oh, bone, I, like it would have had their, to be on that. Their, their Thugs album. That one's a mystery to me. Buddha Lovers had to have won that one. Yeah, they did. Yeah, so Buddha Lovers advanced. Uh, Lord, oh, man. Lord versus BNK. I'm surprised BNK won this. You would have thought Lord would have won. Yeah. I mean, I would have thought I that. think Lord's a fucking powerhouse. Especially, I mean, <laughs> Lord would have got my pick over BNK in this situation. In fa- I mean, fucking yeah, all day Lord would have won. Lord's a fucking, you know, maybe what it comes down to is people compared the feature in that situation. Yeah, maybe, yeah. Well, well I'll tell you this, you know, I'm glad I actually got to say this too. I don't know if this was in the in the interview with Busy Bone, but I told him, I was like, man, when I heard you, the talking at the end of Lord, that's my favorite part of the song besides Crazy Bones verse, but yeah. When Busy's talking at the end of Lord, I, I, I'm so sad when the song ends because I, I just want Busy to say all that mystical weird stuff for like another, <laughs> I don't know, thirty minutes. Like that, it would never get old to me. And I was like, man, can you can you narrate a book or just just talk random weird stuff? You know, not on a live stream, but like in a studio with somebody engineering it to sound the way it sounds at the end of Lord. Um, I really love that that ending part when Busy just talks that weird 
busy stuff. So yeah, I, hopefully he'll do some narrations. I, I love the track Lord. So that this is this is surprising to me to see BNK, but you know, there's there's nothing wrong with BNK. I like BNK way more than like Sleepwalkers, but you know, not as much as for the love of money. So I'm always amazed at how much BNK is celebrated in in the by Bone fans because I mean it does have a music video. Yeah, I think that's what it is. The, vi- the video is what you know. It is a dope video. It's this is just the beat. The beat. The beat to me is sounds so NWA ish. Like well, it's a fucking end of era NWA ish. Fucking like Easy E song. It's not like a fucking Bone song. It sounds like a like a, it was like a cut from. The, the last NWA album. It's, but it's definitely, I mean, hey, you, know, BNK. you know there's a Easy E version with like three Easy E verses. BNK, Beat Out Lord. Who would have saw that one coming? Yeah. All right, bre- Breakdown versus Into the Future. Whoa. See, people voted realistically here versus emotionally. I know everybody loves Into the Future, but they know that Breakdown w- w- was the jam. Yeah. No, break the, the Breakdown's the, you know, that's what I would have pick that that looks like yeah it looks like what they picked yeah that make that makes sense i mean that's that's a breakdown was especially at the time it was like oh shit it made bone so accessible that that makes sense that deserves to win i'm glad that i'm glad they moved that the fuck on i think breakdown is probably in the top 10 most famous bone songs right not to bone fans but i mean to the world at large you know, breakdown is super famous. And then uh, the final was Battle Zone versus Righteous Ones. Mm-hmm. Wow, that's actually a, that's an interesting matchup there. Um, it's cool to see that Battle Zone won. I know, I know a lot of people like Righteous Ones from that Resurrection era, but Battle Zone has the, to our knowledge, outside of the cipher, the longest. Bone verse outside of the cipher. Yeah, why? Must have just been feeling it. Yeah, we got to find out. Like, how did crazy? I don't know how many bars was it. Thirty-two bars. It, it seemed like it was such a long He's verse. Like, I got to make up for me not being on a bunch of these songs. I'm gonna just do like three verses in this one song. Right, right. That was the theory we were going on. Was that? Crazy, like, might have been contractually obligated to uh, have a quota of so many bars. And maybe he was like, hey, let me just drop four and one. I, I think zone. he was just feeling it. I think he was just like, you know what? I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to fucking come in and, and let him see Craig Jackson ain't fucking around. I had really wanted that to be a single, a music video for Battlezone. Yeah. You know, that, that like, it's like, Reggae bass at the beginning, boom, 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 boom. But yeah, all right. So that was that was our coverage of the first round. So now we go to the second round where it gets the competition steps up a bit. So we got shoot 'em up versus for the love of money. Shoot 'em up, shoot 'em up, shoot 'em up. Yeah, I don't know. I love shoot 'em up. For the love of money, it's tough. It's it's going up against for the love of money though. Yeah, that's tough. Come back to that one. I, I, all right, I'm 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 going for the love of money because as much as people love shoot 'em up, for the love of money had Easy E, had a music video, had that really cool CD single. I had to buy the CD single even though I had creeping on a come up just to get that cool like bone dollar bill mm-hmm. on the the maxi CD. But we'll go back to it. I mean, it's not like there's much to go back to. So, all right, we'll we'll, we'll table that for now. The next one's even harder. No surrender versus down seventy one. Mm. I'm going with no surrender. As much as people like down seventy one, people will roll down their window and yell at police when they hear no surrender. Oh, I like down seventy one more. This is tough. Really? Yeah. Wow. Okay, we'll go back. We'll go back yeah. to debate that one as well. <laughs> so, so no two no choices so far. Oh, it's about. Next one. We're about to fucking not agree again. Uh. <sighs> we'll, 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 we'll battle them out. We're, we're going to break them down. All right. Boot Lovers versus BNK. Yeah. I, 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 like, I guess I like BNK, BNK wins. I like BNK way more. 
Buddha love it. Well, they both have music videos. The reason why I'm saying BNK probably wins is because if BNK beats Lord, Buddha lovers had no competition against Don't Waste My Time. <laughs> Could be in K- I, I would choose Buddha lovers, but I'm not I'm not like I'm not gonna go to war for that one. So I'll I'll I'll, I'll concede to BNK for that. Because I don't think it, it would have made it past the next round anyway. So now this... So we agree for B and K, right? Yeah. All right. So this final one. Breakdown versus Battlezone. Mm-hmm. And I, I mean, Breakdown's got to win that. I agree. I'm with that. I'm with that. Because as cool as Battlezone is, and it's a really cool song, Battlezone's like... I feel like that's a total guy song, right? And... It's just it doesn't breakdown is breakdown is like top shelf wine like breakdown's age thirty bro. years. It's it it's so funny yeah. because you know you talk about bone features and and people always talk about Easy and Biggie and Tupac and and those are legendary and it's like bro that that breakdown feature should be fucking up there that that deserves to be if 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 these songs went on shelves. And all those songs that I just said, Notorious Thugs, if all these songs are on the top shelf, Breakdown should be up there with them. If, yeah, okay, well, I was going to say, if Breakdown went against Notorious Thugs, who would you pick? But we act, that that actually might happen somewhere down the line here. So we'll see if that battle happens. Yeah, Breakdown, Breakdown's top shelf. Breakdown wins, hands down. Yeah. So so now we got to figure out the, the first two matchups here. Mm-hmm. So shoot 'em up versus for the love of money. I'll go. I'll go. For, you know. I'll go for the love of money. I'm with that. Okay. Same here. Now this next one, no surrender versus down seventy one, and I can see your point here. Down seventy one has a skit. It's got a really cool beat, sound effects. No surrender though. No surrender. Yeah. All right, well, you gave me for the love of money. I could see down seventy one, especially since I said there should be a movie about it. I think um so here's the thing with down seventy one. I just oh, man. I'm just dude. There's just something about the when Lazy Bone is just like listing off the artillery, bro, and the fucking the the weapons are unloading. <laughs> I, yeah. I still lose my mind every Plenty time. Ammunition. Yeah, that that might have been the coolest moment of the Eternal album. That that particular part with all the sound effects. <sighs> yeah. Now here's the thing about No Surrender that I'll say. Back in the day when we used to be on those bone boards, late '90s, early 2000s, I remember No Surrender getting voted as the best. I mean, at the time period, as the best Bone Thugs and Harmony song of all time. I mean, it is a which great had song. shocked me. It, it, I mean, it's it's a fucking, you know. Pop, 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 you know. Better believe it's Judgment Day. Yeah, well, I'll be surprised. This I'll be I'll be curious to see what the board selects. If, um, if, if, if I could see either one, mm-hmm. and I was gonna say too, like on on name brand recognition, they're both like top brands. You know, no surrender down seventy one. You know, you know, based on they both they based on the allure. They both be on the second shelf to me. They're not they're not top yeah, shelf, yeah. but both of those would sit on the second shelf. Yeah, yeah, no, they're uh, yeah, they're not the top shelf, um, the most expensive brand, but like I feel like those are the fan favorites, like the 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 hardcore bone fan favorites. You know what I mean? Like they're not the the elite yeah. breakdowns, but it's a good matchup because this is like, you know this is two. This is two, you know, B B tier teams evenly matched going up against each other. E- either, yeah. either one of these could win. I, it's down seventy one for me. I know it's no surrender for you. If you're really feeling strongly that no surrender should advance, um, you know, hey, I I would I would go with that just because they're so they're so close. I, I I could well I think music composition wise I think. Down seventy one ultimately is superior. I think, I think as far as 
like what some I was gonna say what somebody would get tattooed on their body, but I could see them tattooing down seventy one just as much as No Surrender. Down seventy one. Like they both got that. Would have been such a dope video game. Playing as Bone Thugs and Harmony. Yeah. And they sentence you to fucking death, and you're escaping the prison and the missions, and you're playing as Bone to fucking get Busy Bone out of jail. Yeah. Yeah, I will go with down 71, but don't be surprised because like I said the 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 loyalty, like no surrender has such loyalty that I I I can't imagine like if it as it comes down to this for every bone family, they have to choose between no surrender and down 71. You're take like take no seven, Oh my god. Dude, take no surrender cuz it's going to go up against for the love of money. Oh man. I mean, no, 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 no. You, you, you seated for the love of money, so I'll give you down 71 if you want. But if if you're cool with no surrender, we'll put that too. Um, if, if you really think it's got to move on, I'm with whatever. Either one. Either one. Do what's right, John. I'm, I'll put them both. We'll see what <laughs> you happens. Can't put them both. You got to pick one. I know. I. I agree with you. Down seventy one is better, but I feel like, like no surrender is no like, surrender. That's like, the beyond the harmony pick. So final round here of these two. So we have for the love of money, holy cow versus no surrender. Oh man. Uh huh. I don't even know who wins. Go to the next one. I don't even know. All right, <laughs> this next one is simple. BNK, BNK made it to the conference champion. BNK versus Breakdown. Right. Breakdown. Right. All right. So we got Breakdown. That was no brainer. So back to Ford, Love of Money and No Surrender. Ooh. Mmm. 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 I mean, I think it's for the love of money. You do? Yeah. Had the single, had the video, had Easy E. Yeah. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. For the love of money, it would be crazy if if it didn't win. Because for the love of money is a bona fide classic of all time on every single level, whereas No Surrender is a cult classic. So. Yeah, we got it. So for the love of money, oh, but now. <laughs> For the final round to win thugs for the love of money versus breakdown. Man, who do we send? Who do we send to the final four? I'm sending breakdown. Really? I don't know who you're saying. Don't... <sighs> because, I mean, it's not right to send break because it's funny. Both of these tracks have features on them. I mean, how do we? Here's the thing, right? Breakdown had a good run. <laughs> if, if if you look at this, Breakdown just uh, let's see, Breakdown beat Into the Future, Breakdown beat Battle Zone, Breakdown beat B- BNK. There's no dishonor in losing to fucking for the love of money. Yeah. Yeah. And it's Yeah, we gotta send And it's for the love of money. It's easy E and yeah. all five members of fucking Bone. And I think breakdown's phenomenal. If if this was going up if if you know shoot 'em up would have moved along and, and it was shoot 'em up, I'd be picking breakdown over shoot 'em up right now. I know that just made some bone fans right. fucking brain explode. We got to send for the love of money. The love of money. It's it, it makes sense. That's the only that was the the easy yeah. Send that motherfucker. All right, for the love of money. For the love of money. All right, so the three winners of our selections today, Mo Murda from the Double Glock, The Crossroads from Harmony, and for the love of money from Thugs. So those are the and then from the original Eternal we sent Notorious Thugs, and are you still good with that over Days of Our Lives? Yep, for sure. All right, all right. So if that's the case, Eternal versus Harmony, Eternal brought Notorious Thugs 
and Harmony brought the crossroads. Mm. Huh. Huh. Mm. Mm. Remember when you were like, I hope one comes along that can knock out the crossroads? Mm hmm. Yeah. This is the one for me. Well, think about a concert. I think people go more nuts when Notorious Thugs Park comes on. I guess it's a different kind of song. I, I think know, Bone and Biggie's a lot more up tempo. I think uh, you want to talk about a song that was never a single that for for hip hop culture. Think of how many non Bone fans know that fucking song, and it never had. It yeah. was never a single or anything. And yeah. and non bone fans like that's gonna be one of the most significant non bone songs that like non bone fans know that you know the way you were like hey uh you know some people only think it's the crossroads I guarantee you know these non bone fans that that know some bone shit that's like in the five fucking songs that they know yeah now with that being said they definitely know the crossroads. Yeah, and it's like, how do you weigh this? How how is how is this competition weighed? I I think it's just what you just said. I think if you're at a fucking bone concert, when the crossroad comes on and when Notorious Thugs goes on, I th- I think people lose their mind for Notorious Thugs. But at the same time, you know all those all those funerals though, you know the crossroads is like. Like one of the top, I mean, it's kind of crazy to say, but you know, there's bitches love big you know, it's a song that you you. I mean, you 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 put you put your your loved ones, or what you you say goodbye to them for the last time with, with the crossroads. But I know what I saw at the concerts, and you know things may be different over time, but I think you know as we hit this final four. What song still motivates the crowd? Crossroads still does, but not the same way Bone and Biggie. No. When that comes on, everybody's rapping Biggie's verse. Yeah. You know? Yeah. Um, so I'm I'm good with passing Notorious Thugs to the to the Super Bowl. Yep, same or here. to the NBA Finals. And then on the other side, the double Glock sent Mo Murda and Thugs sent for the love of money, Mo Murda versus For the Love of Money. That's brutal. Mm. How do you weigh that? I like Mo Murda better than For the Love of Money. Always have. Same here. And um, I think I think it's the winner, you know, especially after we saw. Yeah, especially after we saw that piano performance of Mo Murda from that guy you sent me. You know, it showed how musical that song is. Although, for love of money, did have that guitar outro, the uh, Mo Cheese. But I'm 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 sending Mo Murda. What do you say? Yeah, I would send fucking Mo Murda in this case. Motherfucking right. My pocket's kind of tight. So, the Super Bowl, Mo Murda. Well, actually, we'll say Eternal, Eternals, Notorious Thugs versus Double Glocks, Mo Murda. Notorious Thugs versus Mo Murda. And wow. Yeah. Well, well, in that this is the Super Bowl, you know, starting out, did you think in the end it was going to be Notorious Thugs versus Mo Murda? It shook out that way. Um, when we started off, I, I think I definitely saw Notorious Thugs heading to the, the finals. And and right to the, and right to the championship, I think. Yeah, I think Notorious Thugs, pretty much in my mind, was was gonna make the championship. Was Mo Murda? Mm, I don't know. Is there there was um there was some close games. I think Mo Murda had a lot of close games compared to Notorious Thugs. Yeah, Notorious Thugs like what? closest game. Days of Our Lives, and and then, you know, of course, The Crossroads. Those were close. But besides that, Notorious Thugs, like, just fucking crushed everybody, you know, that it went up against. Well, for the the point of, of tournaments and seasons and the playoffs 
and the Super Bowl and the NBA Finals is to decide the greatest the greatest team of that particular year. And in our case, we are here to, to decide the greatest song by Bone and did the process did the process bring us the best two teams of the entire why well, actually it's not the entire collection, it's all the teams that were included in this particular uh season right the, the teams that had franchises represented here so i think from the list we got we do have the two best songs however i just want to say this if this was a thing done by non-bone fans i would have fully expected the final two the super bowl to be the crossroads versus breakdown <laughs> but since this is by bone fans notorious thugs and mo murder makes a lot of sense who takes the crown? Yeah, if this was uh, just your most casual Bone fans, it's so funny. Probably I Tried would have made it to the end. Probably The Crossroads would have made it to the end. And it probably would have been I Tried versus The Crossroads. And then looking the other way, either look into my eyes. Maybe Thug Love, just because so many people know the, the Tupac shit. Or Thuggish Ruggish Bone. One of those probably would have made it to the end. And then Breakdown. Breakdown probably would have made it to the end. And even Days of Our Lives, if it, if it was bracketed different, might have possibly made it to the Final Four. Not not because I like Days of Our Lives, but just because it seems like there's a big following behind that. Yeah. I, but, I, I think um, we, we could very well be wrong, you know, in the Eternal Conference. I mean, Days of Our Lives could, could edge out Notorious Thugs when this is all said and done. Uh, but for our bracket, fuck. I'm I'm proud that we sent Mo Murder and, and Notorious Thugs. Like I'm I'm good with that being our Super Bowl. I'm, uh, so I'm gonna just say I think Mo Murder is gonna win this. I I go into that though being a fan of Notorious Thugs and like wanting Notorious Thugs to win this Super Bowl. But I think at the end of the day. Mo Murda probably wins this motherfucking thing by like a field goal or something. Yeah. Some overtime. Overtime. Yeah. I, I, I'm picking Mo Murda as well. Like as I think about him, about the two, I'm like, wow, Notorious Thugs. I'm like, but Mo Murda, you know, it's the full game. It's, 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 it's all phases of the game, special teams and all that. Like so, I said, Mo barely, Murda. It, it's going to win by a field goal. It barely wins. Yeah. Yep. And Mo Murda. You know, at the end of the day, the same thing that's kind of let it slide by a few times is the fact that you can go, well, Biggie's on it. So that's kind of gave it gave right. it a slide a couple times. And that is the same thing that in my eyes just prevented it from winning. I was like, well, it's a bone song versus a fucking bone feature. A lot of like the a lot of the props that Notorious Thugs gets is off that beat, and then a lot of people prop up the Biggie shit. I mean, people know the Biggie verse so well. Um, Omni oh, Dangerous, you know, fucking Mo Murder though. That's just a great Bone song that Bone did. Period. It's not a single. Uh, there's no video with it. It's just bone. It's, it's not notorious thugs has a real catchy beat. I think the Mo murder beat is great, but bone made it catchy bone bone made that song. That's the, that's the total package. That's bone showing how great they are. Yeah. It's, it's, it's been a staple for so long. And even to this day, it's still good. And so is Notorious Thugs, but Mo Murda embodies the essence of Bone in all phases. So I like, I'm, I'm completely proud to send Mo Murda as the Beyond the Harmony champion of the btnhboard.com bracket. Now, if, if we would have let Breakdown go and it would have been Breakdown versus Mo Murda. Yeah. Would 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 have break, would you have let breakdown keep going? Would it have been notorious thugs for breakdown? It it it's such a it see 
it, it's like it's unfair to, to judge these like this, right? Because they're different worlds. You know, it's breakdown is a, is one world, and Mo Murder is another world. They're, they're not even in the same universe to me. They're they're so different. To even that, that's what makes like it they bone. should. That's what makes it bone is that they can rap about murder and they can rap with, with uh, you know, Mariah Carey. It it, it 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 like feels like if they took the champion of the WNBA and made him play the champion of the NBA, like it's they shouldn't. I'm not saying that guys shouldn't play girls, but it's just you know, it just doesn't. It just seems like it's not the same. So, but who who would I choose? I don't know. I I think I think we would have debated it out. Well, I think I still would have gone with Mo Murder because I think at the end of it, like. As I'm doing these choices in the end, I'm like, this is this is this is for Bone fans. What are they gonna, you know, what what would a Bone fan really say? And I think every Bone fan would would have to go with Mo Murder always. Well, there's our winner. Then it's Mo Murder. Mo Mo Murder is your your fucking champion from the Double Glock division. That that's who Beyond the Harmony nominates to win the whole thing. Um. Mo Murda. Hey, I, I'll say this, John. No matter what song wins, this was a phenomenal idea by BTNH Board. This was a lot of fun. Um, I I hope they do it with some other... I mean, dude, there's so many of these that you could do. I, I hope they don't even fuck around. Drop this one. As soon as there's a champion in this one, do the next one. Do the, the best crazy bone. I don't care what you do. Best soul. I don't care what comes next. Let's just keep these going. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, these are the valuations, the thoughts. It's uh, I mean, and, and not only that, the debates that came out of it, the the seedings and the camaraderie. I think this really created a good sport for everybody to uh, to communicate with and express their positions yeah. on, and uh, and to get us to really evaluate. You know, how do we how do we grade some of these songs? How do especially the big ones, right? Especially when they go head to head. So it was good. Yeah. No, this was excellent. Props to everybody that put this together. Yeah, I enjoyed it. So that's that's once again, that is Beyond the Harmony's winner, Mo Murda, E1999, Eternal version of Mo Murda. I'm Cecil West. And I'm John Lippy. This was a very special edition of Beyond the Harmony, the BTNH board, dot com brackets. Phoenix Rising. Take us out of here. Beyond the harmony for the fans we celebrate. Uploading the videos every Thursday, so join us.